Hello, today on Sector Savvy, we're looking at the property market. Now, you'll probably be familiar with investing in property through your own home, but did you know you can also do that through the stock market? Chong Kang Ho is with me from BNP Paribas to talk us through that. First of all, uh, Kang Ho, when we look at the property sector as a whole, there are actually many, many subsectors. Mm. Can you just uh, elaborate on what sort of property sectors people can invest in? Your two minutes starts now. Sure, it's not just uh, residential. We also have a lot of other subsegments, uh, predominantly uh, retail shopping malls, offices, and uh, indus industrial properties. Uh, you have your warehouses, flooded factories, and uh, business parks. Um, and also, you can extend it into hospitality uh, property assets such as uh, um, hotels and uh, service apartments. And what are the drivers for these various mm. subsectors? Well, there are three key drivers. Um, it's your economic growth, rising income, and population growth. So, for example, economic growth, as you can see from the chart, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, positive economic growth actually uh, drives up property prices. Um, uh, for, so, for you know, people feel uh, richer, you know, wealth, the, there's wealth effect, they want to spend more, so they buy more uh, new homes, uh, and they, they tend to shop more at shopping malls. Um, and also the fact that uh, if there's rising population, um, there's a need for new, new homes uh, you know, to house uh, uh, more people. Right, so, yep. so the blue mountain chart is the economic growth, and the red line, what does that indicate? The, the red line is actually the uh, property prices. Right. Yeah. You see that they are quite in sync with each other. I see. Mm -hmm. There's some, some differences. So, so I, I guess the, the message is that you do need to be aware of the cycle that your subsector mm -hmm. is in. Is That's that right? right. That's correct. What are some of the examples of companies that uh, people can invest in? Mm -hmm. Well, you have your big names such as uh, City Development, Capital Land, um, Capital Land and even Fraser and Nee, for example. But uh, if you look further, further a bit, there are also some uh, um, you know, uh, boutique developers such as SC Global, Hobi, which are also very relevant in this uh, sector as well. And do they specialize in one sector or another, or are they, yeah, again, they, diversified across? They like to diversify um, two main ways. Uh, number one is to diversify across the sub-segments. So, for example, you have your capital land in, uh, developing not just residential, but also retail malls and offices. And uh, uh, second thing is uh, they also try to expand outside of Singapore. As you know, Singapore is, only, is, is not very big. Mm. Okay? So they try to seek growth um, beyond the, the shores of uh, Singapore, for example, into China, where there's a growth is, is, is uh, still very uh, uh, strong, um, Vietnam and Australia, for example. Terrific. That's mm. the uh, first two-minute snapshot okay. of the property sector that you can invest in through the Singapore Exchange. When we come back in the next episode, we'll be looking at how these property companies actually make money. And I think you might be surprised there's more than one way. See you in a few moments.